hey my friends welcome back to how we rose cook please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up because i already know that you're going to love this one so please give it a like thank you hi everyone welcome back to how we rose cook so i found this in the freezer i had it in there for a few months now and i forgot about it so guess what we're gonna make some sour cake all right Still look fresh and nice, look there. Still look good. Nice, beautiful sorrel. So that's what we're gonna use. All right, so I have a piece of ginger. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. So I basically wanna get the same flavor that you'll get from the sorrel drink. So that is why I'm adding the ginger. We're gonna peel it, um, blend it, and I'm going to add some cinnamon stick in there to boil with the sorrel as well. So approximately two cups of sorrel, fresh sorrel. And I'm going to add a quarter cup of water because we just need to extract the ginger. So we don't need, sorry, we don't need a lot of water for that. Two cups of sorrel, I'm adding two cups of water and we're going to add that to the stove. A stick of cinnamon in there for extra flavor. Alright, so we're going to extract our ginger juice to add to that as well. Just gonna strain it sometimes you buy the ginger and it's not strong and sometimes you get some strong ones well especially if you're in the Caribbean and you have the real thing you want to be careful and just add it gradually because you know the food ginger turn up Sometimes they get it here and no care how much I use another drink, so you don't really taste it that much. So we have a little over a quarter cup of ginger and we'll add it gradually. Alright, sorry, boiling. It's in boiling for about five minutes now. And I'm gonna I'm going to strain some of it off so that I can always have some to put on the cake afterwards but well, I'm gonna put it back on the stove along with some orange peel but first let me strain off the liquid I'm gonna strain off majority of the liquid and then put it back on the stove so here we pour off some because we want this to pour on the cake right now we're going to add this in in there along with our ginger juice for our flavor don't need a lot of liquid to puree this and the ginger and the orange peel would add an extra flavor to it so you just want to go ahead and taste it and see if it has enough ginger for your liking certain things I can't really give measurement for because some people have different tastes some people like different things some people like it strong and some don't definitely can take more ginger and remember you can't judge it from me because your ginger might be stronger than mine there was this guy and his girl here a few weeks ago and she 
I gave her some cereal on Thanksgiving Day and she was drinking it and she was like, she said this tastes nice but I've had cereal from Jamaican before and I would never drink cereal from a Jamaican. I guess it was too much ginger for her. So you see, everybody have different tastes. So sometimes when you watch us cooking and you're judging it, you're saying, oh, that's too much or that's not enough. Remember, we have different tastes and different liking. All right, so I'm going to give that a minute, another minute, and then I take it off the stove and we're going to puree it. I'm going to remove the iron skin. And the cinnamon stick right there. All right, there you have it. You see how it looks nice? We're gonna puree it now. So let's add it to the blender now. Get it nice and smooth. All right, that should be enough. I'm gonna add some white rum in here and some wine and rinse it out there's still a lot in there looks good Smell like you will drunk me, honestly. Okay, so here I have my chopped fruits. I chop it fine, very fine, but I didn't like puree it. I don't like when it's pureed and smooth, like the sorrel. So this is chopped fine, and I have my sorrel. Now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to cream our butter and our sugar. So we're going to add all our butter in. The cream. And we're gonna do one pound. Now you're gonna gradually add in the sugar. Everything is mixing in. Once the butter and the sugar mix in together properly, it takes about five minutes for it to cream. And I guess it's all depending on the mixer that you're using. The hand mixer takes a little longer time. Sometimes there is always a bad egg that will spoil the whole batch. So I always practice to crack them in a separate bowl and then combine. Growing up, we always take out the eyes out of the egg. Yes, and I still do it up to today. So after doing that, I went ahead and I add my orange and lime zest. And I'm now scooping out my dry ingredients to combine, adding all my spices, just the same with my baking powder and my salt. 
then I whisk it to properly combine and then I'm going to sift it. Sifting it will remove any unwanted lumps that you don't want in a cake. Sometimes the baking powder is a bit lumpy as well or the flour either way. It's best to just sift it. Nice and fluffy. Now we're going to gradually add in our eggs. You can get your hot water bath ready if you wish to have one in the bottom of your oven. If not, that's fine. Go ahead, turn on your oven. Allow it to preheat at 280 degrees Fahrenheit. And now I'm just cutting out my parchment paper. I have a short video demonstrating how to do this, but as you can see, it's very visual. If not, you can go ahead by the one that is pre-cut. Now I just grease and line my baking pan and set it aside until my dry butter is combined. Here we have our fruits. And our sorrel puree. I'm going to add all of it in there. Lovely smell, you can smell the rum and the wine. Now we're gonna add in our essence. I'm gonna add some rose water. It's too much. We just add a little for flavor, we don't wanna change it taste of the sorrel and just a little bit of almond essence we're gonna add a vanilla gonna add just a little bit of the sorrel that we strain and when it comes on to sorrel cake if you're gonna use regular fruits that we use in our regular fruit cake it will deter the color of your sorrel cake it doesn't matter how beautiful the sorrel is it will change the color a little bit and you won't have that deep red color that you want especially because of the brown sugar one of my theory is to use just um just the dried cherries red cherries cranberries but you know everybody wants to taste the prune and the raisins in their sorry cake so you can also use a little of red velvet emulsion that would probably change the taste a little bit and you don't want the cake to taste like red velvet or you can use a red velvet powder to add color or some food gel some red food gel whichever one to add a little more color to the style so if you want that bright red vibrant color the only way to get that is if you add some red velvet powder or beetroot powder any one of those to your mixture or some red food gel Let's pour in our dry ingredients little by little and fold it in until everything is combined.
feels good. A little bit more of my sorrel. I need to leave some to pour on the cake when I'm done. Whatever color this comes out with should be fine. But as I said before, if you want to add extra color in there, get some sort of colorant that you are satisfied with. And use it it's totally up to you you can do it the red velvet style and get that deep red velvet color to your sorrel or all right so that's all my tip that I have to give to you we're gonna go ahead and pour it in the pan you don't want to keep your wet butter sitting out too long and you don't want to over mix it let's go There we go into the oven after two hours here we are our cake is ready and sometimes the cake might take a quicker time for instance the one in the smaller pan i took it out after an hour and 30 minutes it was ready now for the sorry mixture that we set aside i'm going to pour some rum and wine in it and we're going to base our cake with that i didn't sweeten it fully but i did add a little sugar in there just to tone down the sorrow So we're gonna let this cool down. I probably don't cut into it until tomorrow. So keep on watching. So that's how it looks after basing it with the sorry sorry wine, whatever you wanna call it. I added a little brown sugar in it as well so that it wouldn't be that harsh, but not sweet sweet. Just to tone down the harshness of the sorrel and the ginger. And then I add some Roman wine in it. So we're gonna let this cool down and then we'll come back tomorrow i don't normally cut my cake same day okay i just got home this is the next day and we are going to cut this and see the texture So I'm just giving you a, a quick close-up if I should compare with my first cereal video that I made I would choose this one the other one was perfect the first time I made it the second time it was a miss I make it after that and send it to someone in Florida and they loved it however based on texture the other texture was lighter more on the cakier side and this one is more on the heavier side It has a nice soft, almost like a cake texture, but dense at the same time. Kind of like in between and you can taste the rum right through it. Very good texture. Okay, can't even like we drunk me now, dear. Can't eat no more. Go ahead and give this delicious cake a try. Thank you so much for your time and your patience to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And if you don't mind, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Alright, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week and come back for another amazing recipe.